What happened, Pingu? Did Mr. Freeze mistake you for a popsicle and try to put you on a stick? Worse, did someone eat your Christmas chocolates? <laughs> nah, I never get any for Christmas. My life is already like a box of chocolates. I never know what I'm going to get, but no matter what, it's bad for my health. <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome to my Let's Play of Tiny Stories Santa Closes. This is another free game on Steam. That should be, the link to the game is in the description if you want to see. And uh, it's a game about Santa closing his store. Now, keep in mind, this game is not suitable for all ages. So there is something edgy in the game. Now, I don't know what it is. I've not played it. But based on the reviews I've read, it's like Rick and Morty and like South Park. So you'll, you'll be warned if you're too young to, to watch this. Uh, that being said, they never have anything too dark in them. So it's more of a bad humor slash disgusting humor kind of thing, I'm guessing. So let's just see what exactly happens. Click to start your wonderful Christmas adventure. What a catastrophe. What happened, Pingu? Did Mr. Freeze mistake you for a popsicle and try to put you on a stick? Worse, did someone eat your Christmas chocolates? <laughs> nah, I never get any for Christmas. My life is already like a box of chocolates. I never know what I'm going to get, but no matter what, it's bad for my health. <laughs> Added figures. <laughs> it's way worse, we have to save Christmas. Save Christmas? Yeah, I read about it in the Pole TV Guide. You know, it's a very serious magazine, tonight at 8. It's down to us to save Christmas. You're right, we need to do something. Yeah, let's do it. So what do we need to save again? Uh, uh c Christmas. Ah, what, what, what is that really? I mean, uh, what, what is Christmas? It's, uh, um, let's see. May maybe we should start by gathering some info. There's a book over here? Well, that's very satisfying. That's very cool. Hey, look, there's my dictionary over there. Strange. It was sure I had left it on a table on the ground in a profitable to... Wait. I left it on a table on the ground. It's profitable to no one. A dictionary? What's that? It's a kind of cake with lots of layers that knows all the words in the world. Maybe it can tell us what Christmas is. Christmas, noun, occurs around December 25th. It's not great for a layer cake that knows all the words. We haven't made any progress. Maybe this layer cake isn't too fresh. Not too fresh? Are you joking? Don't you see what we're standing on? Anyway, what could Christmas be? Let's do what they do in every good story, ask an old sage for some advice. But who would be old enough around here? This tree, perhaps? <laughs> this freaking tree. Please excuse us, old one. We need to help. Uh, we need you to help us save Christmas. But we're not sure to too sure what Christmas is. Oh, you're calling old? You do realize I was drawn at the same time as the rest of this game you included. Oh, that makes sense. Apologies. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. Takes a deep breath and adopts an inspired tone. Christmas is many things, a shovel full of biscuits, glittering ball decorations, crowns and crackers, stockings full of toys, she had moments of joy. Did you make a note of all that, Pinku? How could I? I don't have any arms. And um, there is that. Well, we got ourselves a list of balls, crown, biscuit, toys, stockings and a shovel. A shovel? Now that's weird. Oh, a reindeer. His Majesty wrote off the first wishes you to address me uh, properly according to the correct protocol for here, a reindeer. Uh, Wisp, uh, Pingu, do you, do you think he knows how reindeer is spelt? Oh, y y on your knees, peasants. But I don't have any knees. Yes, you do. Penguins have knees. I read it on the nature section of the poll TV guide. Oh, son of a biscuit. I have an idea. Let's give him the <laughs> layer cake that knows all the words. Reindeer, noun. Remnant mammal found in the cold regions of the northern hemisphere. Well, I'll be. All these years I thought I was by rights the sovereign of these woods, and here I am a mere beast of burden. Here, take this crown or throw it away. My life has no meaning anymore. Well, Pinko, we got ourselves a crown. You think Christmas is saved? I'm not sure. Isn't something supposed to happen when we complete an important mission? Like a ray of light? Sounds of a church choir or something like that? Maybe we just haven't found Christmas yet. Let's try some other objects from the list. Really? This headdress may look like a crowning achievement, but don't let it get to your head. Okay, great. So we have... What is that? Is that, the, is that a Yeti? There's a shovel, though. Okay, there's a shovel on the list, but that one uh, sure is stuck. I find this shovel a bit cold to water us. Perhaps we could try to break the ice or melt it. Uh, We don't have anything. Oh, wait. Over here we have lighter. 
Yes, hello there. I dare say I don't recall having seen you around here before. I just got here. I used to work on birthdays, but those fire, but the boss fired me, and I suddenly felt like a candle in the wind. Birthdays, eh? Isn't that the competition of something? Maybe, but rather profitable for someone who makes sliders. And how are things going for you here? Fine, really. Midnight mass candles keep me busy. The thing is, my lighters are now enlightened by some sacred light, and they've got heavy. And well, I wish they were lighter. Uh, heavy, lighter, whatever you say, yes. Uh, lighter, lighter, they were lighter. We need a section for enlightening light, lighters in the whole TV guide. What? We need a section? Okay. Over here, maybe? Hey, a snoring stocking. Not so loud, you'll wake it up. And? Well, I've heard it has an insatiable appetite and will devour anything that goes near it. Besides, I happen to look like a—I uh, happen to look like a popsicle to some. A uh, cool, not exactly glittering, but still roundish. Could it count as unbreakable decoration, decorative Christmas balls? I'm not sure, but let's take a look anyway. In quest, you should always pick up what you come across. <laughs> I know it's a bit empty right now, but one day when it becomes a whole living room, I'd like to sit here by the fire with you lying on an animal pelt. Make it Mr. Freeze's pelt, and you can count me in. Hello there. And action! Oh, Belzebo, Belzebuth, why did I listen to the voice of temptation? I am now damned. I am uh, I, a uh, poor sinner. Hey, Mr. Freeze, what are you doing? Watching some ballsy movie? Anything wrong? To tell you the truth, my teeth ache so much I can't eat popsicles anymore. I'm no longer welcome to Flavortown. Hey, we have gra uh, ground if you want it. I read in the health section of the poll TV guide that dentists use them to fix people's broken teeth. Is that a fact? Can I try? If you promise never to mistake me for a popsicle again, you can. It won't happen again, I promise. I learned this. If it still wiggles, don't put it in your mouth. Um. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, way to go, uh, Ballsilla. Four balls smashed to the ground. Now, if our mission had failed, the sky would have turned black and some shameless message would have shown up. So that wasn't Christmas either. Let's continue our search. Let's grab some shards just in case. Well, not, not too great, huh? Maybe going to Santa's house would be great. Oh, what, what about you three? What do you have to say? You have a face. You don't, don't talk a lot, huh? Don't mind me, I'm just here for the scent. Okay, okay. That's that's great. Hey, this is the boss's house. Look, there's a shiny brick sticking out slightly. Say, can you check whether it's bright enough? The brick, I mean, if it casts light, it can lighten. Hey, brilliant idea, let's see. The shiny brick is stuck. A rod would work. A rod would work. Section for enlightening oh but then we need to get the thingy what the has that that reindeer oh look i like that tree ornament it's kind of christmas you don't think we should take a bit of that road of the hair rods and come in handy he was a dear friend though indeed a reindeer friend goodbye rodolph thank you for the road rod oh my god that's it's not that uh, oh my god <laughs> That got dark pretty fast. You may have taken me for an old oak, but I'm still very green within, you know. So he hung himself? That is freaking messed up. Okay, I have a feeling this game might not be so lighthearted after all. So we needed a rod for this? Hey, this is the boss's house. Look, there's shiny brick. Yes. Uh, hey, brilliant idea. Let's see. The shiny brick is stuck. Let's try the rod. Yeah, the brick really goes stuck. I almost threw my arms up in despair. At least you've got arms. Oh. Uh, yeah, about saving Christmas, you know, you know, like, you know, you know, it's asleep, I can't eat, it's not wake it up. I think we have enough. Hey, this is dirty, not cool. It's not cool, it's cold. It's not meant to cool anything down anyway. Hey, uh, Yeti person. Yes, medibidibidum to you too. 
Uh, we, we might need uh, the book again. Did we leave it over here? Where's the book? Because I need to read the book. Oh, poor reindeer. Poor Rudolph. Still cold towards us. Yes, I would I would love to, to not make it cold, but I don't know how. We're clicking the sign. Uh, can you tell me how? A shiny sample of Santa's excavation taste in, in masonry. Um, great. You yeah, belong to how to call it? A, a, a dare bar? Okay. A sharp shot. Probably not as sharp as you, though. <laughs> Thank you, game, for complimenting me. I appreciate it. What do I do with this shard? Yeah, like, I need to figure out how to free the shovel. And it won't let me go over there. Uh, are you are you good? We kind of destroyed. I think. Don't mind me. I'm just here for the scent. The scent. Okay. Um. But I I want to wake it up. But how how do I how do I do that? So a brick, hmm? Can I take the crown back from the Yeti thingy? I gotta take the crown back. I cannot drag it, no? I cannot use it for anything. What am I missing? They didn't comment on the house being destroyed. Okay, there's nothing over here. Am I just stupid? Well, <laughs> what do you want me to do? You may have taken me for an old oak. Belly green. Yes, of course. No one is enough. We can lighten your... Enlightened lighters. Look. A bright brig. Ah, oh, thanks, I guess. Alright, feels like we're the new pros on the block. I'm gonna try that here. This is for you. You searches his tote bag. Here, this is my latest lighter model. Oh, thank you. Now that's heartwarming. He's gonna die, isn't he? Because he's gonna melt. Great. It's still cold to watch us. Note we have everything we need to start a fire. A bone fire? No, a coal fire. We're not in a cemetery, buddy. Okay, here we go. The day had come, our oh, believers. You heard the call of Cthulhu emerges from the waters. Bring your leave. Made of Cthulhu. You know, Pingu, I've learned a lot from this adventure. That reindeers are ruminants found in northern hemisphere. That too, but also that Christmas is what you want it to be. To me, it's spending the heartwarming moment with my best friend. I like that, and you're right. Who needs balls and trees and crowns and stockings and shovels to save Christmas when all it takes is being together? Indeed. I'll gladly hug you in my arms, but I know, Pingo, but I still love you. You want some chocolate? You bet, and Merry Christmas. Is this dancing? <laughs> it's just dancing. It's funny. That's it? Okay, well, that was Tiny Story. <laughs> Tiny Story is Santa closest. Uh, I actually liked it. I, I liked it a lot. It had a lot of funny stuff. It had a lot of humor. It didn't take itself too seriously. It also uh, had a, some cool gimmicks and it was a pretty decent point and click. It used the logic to kind of push itself forward and then somehow it turned dark pretty fast. Didn't know it was gonna have dark humor. I I thought for sure it was the swearing, swearing and uh, and stuff like that, but nope. It turned quite dark. Paul Rudolph. If I click play again, is it gonna start me back in the beginning? Uh, yeah, it seems so. Okay, that's pretty cool though. Uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty cool and pretty cruel. 
but yeah, that's that's gonna be it for uh, Santa Closes, Tiny Adventures, Tiny Adventures, Santa Closes. I will put a graph on the screen right now uh, that shows my thoughts on the game. And uh, 10 is higher, 0 is like, t 10 is good, 0 is bad, so anything in between is, you know, what what you make of it. Uh, it was it was pretty enjoyable, I, I enjoyed it, a very tiny game, very short game as well, where you just kind of use logic to move forward, and then eventually you release Cthulhu, and um, yeah, that's great. You know, any game we can release Cthulhu, I can say like a 10 out of 10, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just joking of course. Uh, but yeah, pretty fun, uh, pretty alright, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Hope to see you in another one of my uh, videos. Uh, if you want to try out the game, uh, the link is in the description, like I said in the beginning. And uh, yeah, as always, stay awesome.